Hi friends, I am a cute and famous 3 year old Rottweiler named Henry and today I will tell you the story of my loving mom Mahua Moitra, India's most controversial member of parliament or rather a former MP now. So my hotshot MP mom was in love with a hotshot lawyer Jay Dehadrai for 3 years. Jay says he was the one who bought me in Jan 2021 for 75,000 rupees when I was just 40 days old. Whenever mommy would travel out of Delhi, which was often, Jai would look after me. He really grew fond of me, like a daddy. But unfortunately, they fought and the relationship broke off in the winter of December Jan 22-23. After that, daddy left the house and my custody remained with mommy. But daddy missed me so much that he twice sneaked into mommy's house to play with me, like the hero did in the John Wick movie. Mommy fumed when she found out. And I think she filed two police complaints against Daddy for trespassing into an official Delhi home and stealing me. But Daddy countered that I belonged to him in the first place and it was Mommy who abducted me. Anyhow, because each time Daddy returned me, she didn't pursue the complaints out of respect for their past relationship. But now Daddy sulks and wears this jilted Devdas look. Logo ne kaha tha, mahua ko chhod do. Mahua ne kaha, Henry ko chhod do. And I can't figure out whether it's because of me or mommy or something else. Because what he did in October last year shook the grounds beneath me and mommy's feet. He accused mommy of sharing a parliament's digital login ID and password with someone called Darshan Hiranandani, a Dubai based businessman who asked parliament questions he wanted answers to, especially against his rival, you know, that Gautam Adani and his Adani group. Dad alleges that Tarshan gave mom 2 crore rupees and many other expensive gifts as a bribe. And all this dad wrote in a 39-page letter and then shot it off to the CBI and sent another copy to Nishkan Dubey, a BJP MP and mom's old adversary. Now what do you expect? The very next day, he forwarded the letter to the Lok Sabha speaker and demanded Mahua should be suspended from the house for breach of privilege. The Lok Sabha speaker immediately forwarded the complaint to the House Ethics Committee. It is very surprising that my jilted lover daddy came together with Dubey to grind their axe and finish off my mom's image and political career. Because mommy in March had accused Dubey of putting fake MBA degrees in his election affidavits and made him a political enemy. Dubey was very crude huh? and used a derogatory term, indirectly calling Mami a Nagarvadu, bride of the city, meaning a promiscuous woman. Now also he continued his diatribe against Mami Moitra, calling her Dubai Didi, Digriwali Desh Beche. The first time Dubey insulted Mommy, Daddy had come out in her support, even though they had already broken up and called Dubey a Rakta Beej. Why did they have to fight over me so much? How had my custody battle become one of India's recent biggest political controversies? Whatever the reason, Mommy unfortunately went into a deep downward spiral of thoughts. I am Mahua Moitra and this is not why I came into politics. Those days were good in the 1990s when I got a scholarship to study maths and eco from the US. The bright student I was, I got a high paying job as a banker in London in 1998. But after a decade, like Shah Rukh Khan and Swadesh, I also got the calling to come back to my country and work for the people here. I began by joining Rahul Gandhi's Aam Admi Ka Sipahi Booth Level campaign in Bengal. But I soon realized that only Mamta Didi's TMC would be capable of dislodging the left's seven consecutive term, 34 year run in government. And so I jumped bandwagons in 2010 and worked as Didi's diligent party worker for the upcoming 2011 election. My giant sunglasses and Louis Vuitton handbag gave way to a cotton sari when in 2016 she gave me an opportunity to contest my first election. I went to live in Karimpur, nearly 200 kilometers away from the bustle of Kolkata, spending time with local residents to understand their issues. And bravo, they gave me my debut assembly election victory by a good margin of 16,000 votes. Then my stature grew when I became an MP in the 2019 Lok Sabha election from Krishnanagar constituency. And as the party considered me as its most lethal piece of verbal artillery, they sent me to Delhi. I can't forget the goosebumps I got when my first speech in parliament went viral. Fascism is rising in India. 
These fiery speeches made me a thorn in the flesh of the country's ruling party. I continue to face off with the government with petitions in the Supreme Court against the Citizenship Act and the often misused sedition law as well. Poking fun at BJP MPs before my next salvo. <laughs> I'm going to speak today. BJP should get their heckler team ready and drink some Gomutra shots too. The riled up trolls tried silly things to shame me, putting cropped up shots of me holding a glass of wine and a cigar at a party. But you know me, I don't get affected at all. In fact, the BJP loses in Bengal because they do these very kinds of below the belt attacks on women. And so Mahua fought against the breach of privilege allegations, filing a defamation suit alleging that Jay's complaint was revenge for Henry's custody battle. However, privately, Mahua's lawyer under instructions from his client tried to settle with Jay. Withdraw your complaint and in exchange we will give you custody of the dog. But Jay revealed this hypocrisy in open court on one hand filing a defamation suit and on the other looking to settle embarrassing Mahua's lawyer who withdrew from the case but curiously two days after Mahua's defamation suit on Jay on October 19th Darshan made a statement Mahua did give me the login credentials it was my mistake to take it adding that Mahua put pressure on him for luxury items bungalow renovations travel expenses and holidays The two Darshan and Mahua had been close friends since 2017 so Darshan's statement seemed like backstabbing to her or it could be that Darshan's statement was made under pressure with a gun to his head because after the 2021 Pandora Papers leak revealed that his family was the beneficiary of a BVI trust worth 60 million dollars 24 of his business locations across India were raided in March 2022 searching for more undisclosed offshore investments Could that be the reason Darshan was seen cozying up with Yogi and promising to invest 39000 crore rupees in a data center campus in UP and was Adani's flirting with Didi to develop a 3 billion dollar 25000 crore deep sea port in Tajpur West Bengal be the reason for TMC's powerful queen Mamta Banerjee's silence despite it being three men against one woman so barely 2 weeks after the complaint Mahua was called to be grilled by the Lok Sabha's 15 member ethics committee. She turned up for the hearing in style, flaunting three designer handbags as if to show that she doesn't need gifts and makes enough money on her own to afford these luxury items. However, the environment inside was tense as the BJP MPs reportedly asked her highly personal questions. What is the nature of your friendship with Darshan? Which hotel did you stay in Dubai? Did his wife know? A furious Mahua refused to answer and along with five opposition members of the ethics committee walked out fuming They are trying to do my verbal vastraharan disrobing me with words The committee had already heard BJP MP Nishkan Dube and cross examined the complainant Jay Dehadrai's story but Darshan on whom the entire case was based was never called in for questioning or ever given a chance to be cross questioned by Moitra Who admits she got friendly gifts from the much married Darshan, help from his architect on bungalow design, and a car and a driver in Mumbai and Dubai. In a similar solitary case in 2005, 11 MPs across party lines were caught in a sting operation taking cash from a traders' lobby in return for asking questions. All of whom were expelled from the house, and the decision upheld by the Supreme Court two years later. However the key question as to whether as a member of parliament Moitra got any money in return from Darshan could not be established still as if in a hurry within just 23 days of the initial complaint on November 9th the leftover committee of 10 gave its verdict 6 is to 4 we recommend Mahua Moitra's expulsion from the Lok Sabha and on December 8th she was duly expelled from parliament for a remaining term of a few months until the 2024 Lok Sabha elections Mahua's defense was anyway weak that Darshan was given login credentials because none of her PA spoke English that no specific law bars MPs from giving their credentials to a third person and that the OTP for Darshan's questions came to her phone first new violations emerged from information technology ministry sources that she may have even shared a login with others in New Jersey and Bengaluru as well however the controversy helped the Lok Sabha secretariat pass new stricter rules blocking access to even mp secretaries and assistants from the digital sansad portal now unlike previously the contents of a reply made in response to a question shall also remain strictly confidential until it has been answered publicly in the house so what next for mahua moitra other than a usual bluster i'm 
49 years old i'll fight you inside and outside parliament for the next 30 years easy to say but she may be faced with yet another challenge under the it act of 2000 just when a short but action packed political career seemed to be fading into oblivion mamta banerji finally broke a silence more than a month after the controversy broke out The plan to expel Mahua will only help her in the elections. And repost faith in her winability by reappointing her as the district president of Krishna Nagar, her Lok Sabha constituency. Perhaps the time has come for us pets to decide who gets our custody instead of being treated as a property dispute. So Henry, who do you want to stay with, mommy or daddy? Bizbos Limerick. There was once a dog named Henry whose life was turned topsy turvy. When their masters fought and in their crosshairs caught an act of an MP not worthy. You will also find these sources listed in our video description section.